Hello friends. In our last session, we have seen how to display numeric data using chloropath map. Here, you can see different state boundaries has got different color shading based on the number of COVID cases in that particular state. So, if the number of cases are higher, the state is having darker color. You can see Maharashtra is having more than 78 lakh cases. Same way, if the number of cases are lower, the color gets lighter. You can see Himachal Pradesh is having 2.82 lakh cases and so it is having a lighter color. So this is a wonderful way of showing numerical data onto the map. But is there any other way uh, to display same numerical data onto the map? Yes, of course. That is proportional symbol. You can see over here, each and every state has got a circle symbol onto the map and size of the circle or say radius of the circle is proportional to the number of COVID cases in that particular state. So you can see over here Maharashtra having the largest circle with highest radius. After Maharashtra it is Kerala and so on. So you can see Tamil Nadu is having slightly uh, smaller circle and here you can see Jammu and Kashmir is having smallest circle with 4.52 lakh cases. So this is another way of showing a numerical data onto the map and this looks wonderful. So today we are going to learn how to develop a web mapping application for displaying proportional circle symbol onto the map for similar COVID cases. So let us jump into the coding part. So I am going to my C drive and in that geo server data directory data folder in data directory i am going to www folder and i am creating a new folder which will contain the this entire application i am calling proportional symbol so i am creating this folder and i am opening this folder with visual code application wherein i will be writing entire application So this is my visual code right now this folder is empty so first of all we should have resources resources means i need a geojson file which will contain all the states and their covid cases details so you can see over here i am pasting a resource folder which is containing data and it is having a covid cases geojson file so let us see it in visual code application so here it has got resources folder in that it is got data and then this is a India 4326 means it is a India state boundary file. So it is there to display this state boundary which is displayed with a black color over here. And then this is a covid cases details file. So each and every state along with the confirmed number of cases and latitude and longitude details. So this is a geojson file for uh, covid cases why we are having two files because this this india file will represent the polygon boundary and this covid cases are number of covid cases with latitude longitude this position will be used to display a circle symbol so this is in data in images we have got simple image and this is a leaflet library which is containing javascript and css file so let us start writing the code so to write the code, first of all, we have to create three basic files. So we'll start with index.html. So I will create a boiler for that. So this is a visual code shortcut. Now here I have pasted a code. This is the code to display a particular icon so when I open up a tab it will display icon like this so this is a cool line for that and then I am referring to leaflet.css I have given a reference to that and then my particular style CSS which we have created here so this is a code for that now here we will give reference to JavaScript files so you can see over here I have given a reference to a geojson file which is containing uh, COVID related data there is another geojson file which is containing a state boundary and then i am giving a reference to leaflet javascript file 
and then there is a main.javascript file in which I'll be writing the code. So this is a simple HTML configuration. Here one more thing I have to do is I have to create a div element with id as map. So I have created that. So my HTML side of coding is done. Now we will go to the style.css. You can see I have pasted a code for styling it. Here I don't want any spacing on the edges or sides. So I have given a padding 0 margin 0. I am using a particular font family for the entire map body. And then this is a height and width 100% so that it fills the entire screen. So this is the styling part of it. Now we will go to the main coding part. So in JavaScript we will start writing the code. I have quickly pasted a code. You can see over here in leaflet first of all I am creating a base layer which is nothing but a OSM open street map and this is the attribution for that. So I have created a base layer variable and then I am creating a map variable and through l.map method I am initializing that and it will use map div element to display the map content map will be centered at this particular attitude and longitude initially when I load the application the map will be zoomed at scale 5 and then I don't want to see zoom in and zoom out control so I have given it a false and then layers is a base layer which we have created here so this is a basic configuration so once it is done let me save it and let me use the live server functionality to run the application so now it is opening up my application so basically it should display this OSM map so yes it is working perfectly fine now let us move ahead now what we want to do is we want to display the state boundary geojson file onto the map so let us start with that you can see over here uh, I have created a geojson style function which is taking feature as a parameter and then what it is written it is written stroke as a true it means I want to display the outline I want to display the outline with black and weight should be 1 and fill is false so I don't want to fill the polygons so it will be hollow polygon with a black outline and now here I am creating a variable geojson and then I am using l.geojson functionality and I am providing India ST as an input from where this India ST is coming if you have seen my previous lecture uh, you can very well understand that but let me explain you again in the resources in data in India states we have entire geojson file for all the state polygons at the same time we have created a variable to represent the entire geojson so india st is defined here and from here we are using the same variable so and we are giving a style as geojson style the function which we have defined here and at the end we are adding it to the map so let me save it and let us see how it is displaying So it is refreshing every time when we save it it will refresh the application so you can see over here now we have state boundaries with a black border and it is uh, not filling inside so it is a hollow boundary it is the way we want it now let us move ahead now what we are going to do is we will add another geojson file which is nothing but a point file this is the point file and we want to display the symbol with the size of number of cases in this particular uh, state so let us use that so you can see over here i have added a one more line it is nothing but the same uh, as previous line i am adding a geojson file but this time it is a different geojson file with a variable covid and i am adding it into the map so let me save this thing and let us see how it appears so it is refreshing the application so earlier we have added uh, state boundary file and now we have added another geojson file which is nothing but a point file so you can see it has been displayed with a default marker symbol so all the points are displayed on through the map now let us change the symbol of this marker it should display the circle symbol and size should vary based on the number of covid cases so let us see how to do that so now when i am displaying this uh, geojson file i want to assign certain wave parameters like 
I want to convert point to the layer and then it should execute a function which will take feature and let long as a parameter and what it will return it will return a circle marker circle will be placed at a particular latitude and longitude and circle will have a style based on this function style so we will define this function style at the same time when each and every features are loaded onto the map it should also execute a function on each feature so now we are going to write coding for style function as well as on each feature function so let us do that now you can see this is a code for a style feature so what we are doing is basically when I am loading a GeoJSON file I want to call a function that function will return a circle marker and it will style the circle based on the style function so this is that style function what it is doing it is returning a circle with a radius it is returning a circle with a radius now you can see feature dot property dot case is divided by 15 lakh so what it is doing because the number of cases are very huge and if I display the circle with the radius of that particular cases then it will fill the entire world so what I am doing I am dividing the number of cases by 15 lakh and that will be the radius of the circle the circle will be filled with a particular color and it will have stroke is equal to false so it will not have outline the outline color is uh, anything you define but when there is no outline it uh, this does not make any sense the weight will be 1 opacity is 1 so I want to make it completely opaque and then fill opacity is 0 0.08 so this is how I have defined the circle so it will follow this style now let us define this function on each feature so let me first of all save it and right now if I comment it let me save and let us see on the map how does it look like so you can see over here uh, each and every state has got circles and it is coming from that particular markers and now the symbol of the marker has changed now it is a circle with different size and you you know that size of the circle is dependent on the number of covid cases in that particular state so it is looking very beautiful now let us make it somewhat interactive so when i move the mouse over that it should highlight that I have mouse on this particular circle and it should display the state name as well as number of COVID cases. So let us do the coding for that. So now we will define this on each feature. For so you can see I have created a function on each feature and what it is doing it is using the layer dot on event and then when I move the cursor over it so when there is a mouse over it should highlight the feature when I move the mouse out of that feature it should reset the highlight feature so we have to write these two functions so when it was calling these two highlight feature and reset highlight feature so I have created those functions highlight feature and reset highlight it is taking e as a parameter now you can see I am defining a variable layer e dot target is input to this layer variable and now I am defining the style of the layer so layer dot set style what I am doing is I am making a stroke is equal to true so it will have some outline outline width will be 3 there will be some color of the outline so I am giving it 666 I don't want it to be dashed I want it to be continuous and fill opacity remains same 1 so I have defined the style of the layer when I move the cursor over it so this is what uh, I have done right now I am making this thing as a comment we will understand what is that now when I move the cursor out of the feature it should call reset highlight function which is nothing but this so it is resetting the style to previous because here we have changed the style now here it is resetting to style to default info.update again I will make it comment now let me save it and let us go to the map let it refresh because through visual code 
when I save it, it will automatically refresh. Now you can see when I move the cursor over a particular circle symbol, it will highlight the circle. It is exactly the way we wanted. Now let us have some information window over here. So when I move the cursor over here, here in this right side corner, it should display the name of the state as well as number of cases. So you remember we have commented this via two particular lines. Now it is time to, you know, remove the comment but first of all let us define the info variable so I have added a code you can see I am defining a variable info which is nothing but a leaflet dot control and now when the info control is added so on add I am calling a function what it has to do is it has to create a new div element and it, it will return this div element now info.update whenever that function is called you can see over here I am calling info.update function so let me remove the comment over here at the same time remove from here so now whenever info.update function is called it will change the internal HTML what it has to do is it has to update a content of div element with h2 element saying that covid cases in india and it also has to populate properties dot name so here it will display the name of the state at the same time it will also display the number of cases in lakhs so here i am dividing actual number of cases by one lakh so this is what it will do now when i move the cursor out of the feature it has to say that hover mouse over the state so this is what it has to do so we have created an info variable which is nothing but a control and we have added it into the map and it should display content when I am moving the cursor over the info and here I am adding it into the map now we want to define the style of it how info control should display where it should display so we will go to style.css so I have added a code for info control styling you can see over here I am giving some padding I am defining the font I am giving the white background and then um, I am giving the box shadow and box radius for h4 element I am giving some margin and color it has to be black so this is uh, the info control now let me save it and let us go to the map so you can see over here it is displaying covid cases in India so this is nothing but info control which we have added and it also giving the message hover the mouse over the state so let me do that now as soon as I move the mouse over here you can see the content is changing here so it is Maharashtra 78.58 like cases and now if I move the mouse here Uttar Pradesh so it is such a beautiful interactive map so this is how what we have done is we have created a proportional symbol kind of a map using leaflet library so isn't it beautiful so uh, we will keep it up to this point. Thank you for your time.